What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. So the reason why I wasn't able to put out a video for you guys the other day is because I was working on this. This is a, I'm not even sure of the year, but it's a Corvette C6 and I've been detailing this thing and it's been probably a total of two days of work into this car. So the paint was kind of neglected. The car's got 83,000 kilometers on it. The owner of this vehicle drove this and did like a pretty big road trip. The car needed a little bit of loving, so I figured, okay, I spoke to them. The car got completely polished to step. It got clayed, it got washed. The inside got detailed, it got leather conditioned. I ceramic coated the entire thing and you can see how nice and shiny this thing is. But there's one more part that I need to do. There's one more thing I need to do so that this car looks great. Now, what separates a clean car versus a detailed car is the little things. So the tire shine, for instance. If I were to just go ahead and bring my car to a car wash and just pressure wash it, it would be clean, but it wouldn't look detailed and it wouldn't really catch your eye. So that's why going that extra mile, doing that extra step makes a big difference, especially when you're talking about something rather nice. So if you've got a really nice car, it's not gonna look that great if it's not detailed. So what I'm also gonna be doing, I already put the tire shine on, Tire shine looks good, the contrast looks nice. Cleaning inside the wheels, inside the barrel of the wheel, that is very important too. But what I'm gonna be focusing on today, or at least showing you guys today, is something else that I'm doing on the back of the car. So I have the car right now jacked up in the air, or slightly raised in the air, using some race ramps. Now the reason why I'm doing that is just so that you guys can get a better shot of what I'm doing. So what you're gonna need to get this done is a microfiber towel, some Meguiar's or even Mother's metal polish. You're going to need a drill. It could be cordless, it could be handheld, it could be whatever, it could be corded. You could even do this by hand if you want to, but it just takes a little bit more work. And you're also going to need this detailing cone right here. Now, this is going to help me clean up each one of these exhaust tips, and it's gonna save me a lot of time. Now, you can do all of this by hand, but it's gonna take a little bit more effort. Now, the more neglected the tips are, the more work it involves. But if you've got a drill with this metal polishing comb, it's gonna be very easy to get this done. It doesn't matter if you have one exhaust tip, two, or four. You can use this principle to get the exact same thing done for your car. So I'm gonna start working on the left muffler first, which contains two tips. So I'm gonna be putting first a little bit of this polish on the cone. I'm then gonna go ahead and turn the drill on slowly so the stuff doesn't sling, and I'm just gonna work my polish into the metal. So when you're doing this, you're just gonna to wanna to push this in and out of the tip so that it gets almost everything. So you can see that the contaminants on the surface are basically removed and polished out using this cone. After you're done using it, you can buff off any excess with a microfiber towel. You should then have a very nice mirror finish. If you've missed any spots, you can go ahead and do the exact same thing over again until you're satisfied. So that was the interior. If you're gonna now work on the exterior, we're gonna do this little section here by hand. You're gonna wanna put the polish on the actual tip and then just buff it in and rub it in. Now, if you wanna get in between both tips, what I like doing is using a microfiber towel and pulling it up and down in between the tips. It's a good way to basically get all the junk that's in between the tips because it's not really that big of an opening and you can't exactly get your hand in there. After you're done, just buff it off and then you're left with an amazing finish. You can see there's a huge difference between the left and right tip. If you want to make the left one look just as good as the right, all you have to do is just repeat the exact same procedure until you're satisfied. After putting in about two minutes of work, you can see the difference between polished and not polished. Now it's crazy because that two seconds makes a world of a difference when you step back and look at the car. I'm going to finish up and do the other two tips that are found on the other side of the car. And then once I'm done, I'm going to bring the car out and show you guys how awesome this vet looks. So I put a lot of work into this thing and it really should pay off once I bring this outside. Now, as I mentioned in my other detailing video when I was working on that Porsche, it's very important to change where you're working. So change the lighting on the inside and outside. Now, while I was detailing the car to find other scratches, I turned the lights off in here. I started using a flashlight, like a little inspection light to see how the light would refract with the scratches. And after that's all been done, the vet looks amazing. What's really nice about this cone and the polish is that if you have either polished wheels or chrome wheels, you can use this attachment and it'll make your wheels look like they're better than brand new. The shine that you get out of them is absolutely ridiculous. Now, if you have a nicely polished and cleaned up car and you use this on your wheels, it will make that contrast look unbelievable. You'll see when I bring the car outside. Okay, so I just rolled the, uh, the vet outside and look at how amazing this finish looks. 
So the wheels look brilliant. They look super shiny, especially in the sun. Take a look at how damn nice this vet is. And it's crazy because before bringing this vet to me, it didn't quite look this shiny. It didn't quite look as nice. And with a nice, fresh, awesome detail like this, the car looks thousands of dollars more expensive. This looks amazing. Now I still have to put on the rear plate, but as for the exhaust tips, they look really good. It's crazy how much of a difference just five minutes makes when you're talking about something this small. It's the little accents like this that make a big difference between just a clean car and a proper detail. Now I think that another big difference between a regular wash and a detail is that a detail will last hours and hours versus a wash can probably take you about 20 minutes to half an hour. Now it depends on where you go. If you go to an automatic car wash, it's gonna be a lot faster, but if you're doing a regular wash at home, it'll take you about that time. Now, there are many things that you guys can go over on a car to make it stand out or make more contrast or just make it look like it's that much better of a detail. If you ask me, I think cleaning the wheels and the barrels is a definite must. That's a big part of it. Putting some good tire shine on there so that you have a nice, healthy, and rich looking tire instead of something really glossy and having cleaned exhaust tips. If you guys have any other ideas as to what makes a difference between a regular wash and a detail, like a proper detail, let me know. The comment section's down there. Oh, I just thought of another one. Headlights. I think clean, polished headlights that are, you know, properly optically clear are a really important thing too. I clean them on this car, I polish them, but like I did a two-step polish, and I also applied ceramic coating on the headlights too so that they'd stay looking that nice. Now, there's a little bit of like film or grossness on the inside lens of the headlight. There's not really much I can do that about a detail, but if you wanted to address that, what you would do is you take the entire lens off of the headlight, and then at that point, you could go ahead and clean the inside of it. Now, that's a decent amount of work. I'm not sure if a lot of people are gonna be up for that, but if you wanna make the car look amazing, those are some things you gotta do. Anyways, if I'm missing anything, let me know. Comment section's down there. Throw me your ideas. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.